Good morning, everybody. Today. <laughs> um, so I feel like, let me fix this. So I feel like everybody has off days. I don't know if y'all do, but today I had promised myself I was going to make a vlog for the day. I look real crazy because I haven't even started getting dressed for the day. Today's supposed to be a really important day for me, and I wanted to make sure I recorded it and, um, made a note of it actually because it's really important for me to be able to remember and to have these monumental moments um recorded documented so um i hope you can follow me around today um you'll be able to see my university and be able to see a lot of really fun things that you know i do <laughs> literally right outside of where I'm gonna go order my ring I'm super excited so a ring for those that you don't know at my university means that you've gotten to a certain point of your academic career and it's really cool it's an amazing rite of passage to be able to order it even because then you get like this thing like you have a certain amount of credits you're able to order it although a lot of people order it like their second year or third year a lot of people wait till they're about to graduate like I did and it's very exciting so I'll see y'all in there so it's done guys I ordered my ring so shout out to my camera who is the one that convinced me to make sure that I documented this momentous occasion it's something that's really important to me and like whoever has graduated or has gone through school at any point in time knows the struggles that you go through when you finally get to the last point and you're just like okay this is it this is the last semester i can do this um i'm just very excited it's something that is extremely cool to be able to see um and i just can't wait like, i can't wait to just you know I don't even know how to explain it. I'm so excited. But yeah, definitely super excited. Um, I need to go and move my car before I get a ticket. But wanted to share with you guys. I didn't take a picture, Ely. I'm so sorry. It was just so fast. There was a lot of people. I'm 100% super excited. I'm very happy I got this out of the way just because it's really important that I am able to um, get this. This ring means so much more to me than what I thought it would mean just because I know the struggle and the sac I'm getting emotional just because I know the struggle and the sacrifice that I've been through to like get here to this momentous occasion I keep on saying momentous occasion but it's just like it is momentous it's something that I never thought I was going to do like for a really long time I didn't want to come back to college because I thought it was something that um that young people do and that people that are like straight out of high school are supposed to do but not people that like me that didn't go straight to college and that's not right like I I don't know where I got that that sentiment or that those thoughts but I wasn't right I have people in my classes that are older than me some of them um and my 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 basic classes were way older than me and they are amazing students if not more dedicated than the than others and it's really really cool to be able to see that um you know they 
that I have these amazing people in my life. Like it's, it's just amazing. And so, yeah. But anyways, I'm trying to park without, <laughs> without hitting this truck. I'm gonna go. Joss, okay. So, yeah, and, and honestly, like, if you're out there and you want to, like, if you're thinking of, of coming, of going back to school, don't hesitate. Like, if anything, like, you're going to, people are like, oh, you're going to be in debt. And regardless of anything, you're going to be in debt anyways. Like, you're going to have that debt because there's other things that you're going to do in life that are that will put you in that debt and it's nothing that you can do about it there's nothing that you can do to prevent debt it's going to happen so i mean and there's scholarships and there's other stuff that you can use to pay for school not necessarily just um just that like i i don't know how to express this anymore but to live in the lower half of poverty line of the poverty line um as opposed to living even if it's above the poverty poverty line um is very was very important to me and if it's something that i can do and help other people and learn skills to help other people even better then more with more gusto i do it i do it with more um yeah with more pleasure um, I'll be more than happy to help other people, but, um, need to make sure my, my credit card was in my purse. Um, but yeah, definitely make sure that you are, definitely make sure that it's something that, how do I explain it? I don't know how to explain it, but if you're thinking of coming back to school, definitely don't second guess yourself. If it's something that's like, you know what, this would better my family's, I'm parked guys, just don't worry about the thing. Um, if it's something like, I'm gonna, I wanna better my family's like chances of whatever, like yes, definitely. I came back to school because I not only wanted a better future for myself, but I also wanted to be able to create a better future for my future children. And so that their future and their opportunities were bigger. And I now know that that's what my, my mom was trying to do for us my entire life. She was trying to better our opportunities and better our chances at getting to where we wanted to be our entire life. And whatever sacrifices that she went through and what my grandparents went through their entire life I would not want for anybody to have to go through especially not my children and they will know the the meaning of hard work but if it's anywhere in my power not to let them know what it is to have to work day in and day out outside in the sun and the rain and the, unless that's what they want to do then that's more power to them but if they don't have to suffer the way my grandparents, my mother suffered, I even like had like really crappy jobs sometimes and I had to stay with them because there was no way out. Like there was nothing that I could do. So I know that this is me babbling on and I'm so sorry, but I feel like there's a lot of people like me that would, that I just leave it to, let's see what happens and let's see what happens next semester, next year, next, you know, and that's not it like start as soon as you can don't let it go that this is your life this is your dream and the sooner that you start to try to make better opportunities for yourself the sooner that you can gain better opportunities for yourself don't don't let it like just slip through your hands i mean if you have any questions about how to start the process for application of college, because that's one of the biggest things that I didn't have was assistance to help me. How, where do I start? What do I do? This is why one of the biggest reasons that I didn't go to college straight out is because of this. So if you have any questions on how to apply for college, what to do for loans, who to go to, what questions to ask, please let me know, please. 
I'll be more than happy to help you. I'll walk you through the things. We'll communicate back and forth. Uh, this is one of my biggest things. Even though you get in debt, yes, you do get in debt when you go to college. But it's nothing compared to the quality of life that you're going to be able to provide later on. For your, not only yourself, but to your family. Um, to your future. So no, don't think about yourself. Think about your future. And that's that's one of the biggest things. But anyways, love you guys. I'll see you in a bit. What's up everybody as you see it's a little bit later in the day hardly any sun but you got to see a teeny tiny bit a piece of my of my campus of where I go to school um, it's like a like a really small campus but it has like really nice buildings so some of them are really nice some of them are older um, they were donated by some people so yeah and it's like it it's Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't speak but anyways I just wanted to update you on my day so today all I really did was all, all I really did because it's been a couple of hours since I've seen y'all and um, I don't want to fall I'm like over here like trying not to fall I'm taking a shortcut so hopefully I don't get lost but since I last seen you I um, had like three classes I also met with um an advisor for um for my grad for the graduate program i want to see how i wanted to see how difficult how expensive it would be to be part of the master's program um there was a requirement there's all kinds of requirements obviously because as every master's program does have they have a requirement of a bsw and then also um they have a requirement to have a certain um, grade point average for your thing. So, yeah. So, let me show you guys a little bit of... But that's pretty much it. Let me not bore you. But I want to show you guys my campus. This is the parking lot. Like, one of the parking lots. But it's the president's home. I am finally home and I worked on some homework and had a little bit of dinner and now I'm sort of just unwinding for the day. So um, I went to the store right after I left you guys and I couldn't record because I had purchased um, a bundle for um, this lady. Um, the bundles are sort of like people coupon and then they like put a, like a bundle together like shampoos conditioners um detergents and stuff and then they sell them for a lower price and you would buy them at the store so to me i'm making i'm like saving money they're making a profit but i don't care as long as i save money so um i purchased a bundle for like 20 dollars. it was like two detergents a uh, fabric softener two deodorants two shampoos two conditioners of a breeze thing and I don't remember what else it has, but it was only $20. And those are like really good conditioners, really good um, detergents for clothes. And I saved a lot of money. Anyways, I saved myself at least $15 and I still got that. Then I noticed that when I was putting it away that one of the shampoos, um, one of the shampoo and conditioner sets was two shampoos. So I was like, no. So I messaged her and she said, oh, yeah, I can meet you at the store or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I go back to the store, forgot the extra shampoo at home. And I told her, like, I'm already on my way back. I'm on my way back to my house. 
I forgot the, sh the extra shampoo. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. She's like, I'll send you the, she's like, keep it. And I was like, okay. She's like, I'm, send I'm sending you some stuff. And I was like, okay. So she sent me the, another set. And so I, I told her husband, no, it was just a conditioner, but thank you so much. He's like, no, I'm pretty sure she was going to give you the set. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I told her, I told him like, no, she sent me two extra. Like she sent me an extra shampoo and she told me to keep it. And then he's like, well, it's because I don't think she had the same one of these anymore. So go ahead and keep it. So I now have two extra shampoos um, that I don't know what I'm going to do with. But anyways, I'll figure it out later. And um, yeah. Oh, and I had a body wash too. It was so, it's a, such a good bundle. It was like, I saved myself like literally $15, like I said. And um, when I figured it out, I was like, wow, like that was a good, that was, that was a good buy. Um, but anyways, I'm already like winding down for the day. Um, I literally had like the most chill dinner. I had just tuna with mayo and I was literally not even caring at the moment. I was just hungry and I finished some homework and now it's about 10 PM and I'm going to start winding down to go to bed. Um, tomorrow is my internship, so I don't. I don't want to start another vlog and then not finish it because I've literally started like three vlogs this week um, and fin not finished them just because I've had so much to do or like I plans fell through for, to, to like go to the store with you guys or whatever because I don't want to just do random vlogs. Um, I feel like my vlogs are really boring and they probably are but... This one I am going to post just because, I mean, I purchased my ring today, guys. Like, that's really important to me. And so, I think that's what I'm going to post. And then later on, I'll go ahead and figure out other videos. But there are some videos that I have that are really important. I'm going to try to put at least up a video per week. I'm not going to promise anything because I feel like I've done that before. And then I sort of let you guys down. But I've had, I have one day out of the week now where I can post stuff and I'm very excited about that too so without further ado you guys have an amazing rest of the day or night or whatever and just remember to never give up on your dreams and always always do you boo <laughs> I love you guys talk to you later good night bye